Spectre Console allows you to turn your C Sharp console apps into visually appealing, informative applications. In this series of videos, we're learning how to take full advantage of this library in 10 minute chunks. The source code is available as a link in the description. In this lesson, we're going to create ASCII word art using a system called Figlet. If you like this series, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel and visit imtimcorey.com for more training resources. Let's get started. And this is going to be an easy lesson, it's very quick, um, but I'm going to show you two different ways of doing this and we can play around a bit. Let's start with the easy um, inline way, which is say console right. I'm sorry, ANSI console dot right. And we're going to say new figlet text and we'll pass in hella. Now we're going to chain onto this a couple of additional features. So we're going to say dot, let's do centered. And then we'll say, let's change the color as well. We're going to set the color to uh, red. So that's going to say hello. And then we can see what this actually looks like first before we go on to add another way of doing this. And there we go. Hello. It's that, you know, big, bold ASCII word art. So let's come back here and see how we could do this um, another way, which is figlet text. Um, and we can say figlet equals new, and then let's say world like so, and they can say figlet dot, let's do centered again, like so, and then figlet, um, dot, uh, color, and we'll set the color equal to, um, let's do, well, let's do red again, because why not? And now we can say ANSI console dot write and then pass in the figlet. So with that, we've just done the same thing in a bit different way. Um, and we now have hello world. I do want to point out that even though we're using console dot write, it is putting a new line afterwards. It's not about the, the length of this, although the length of the words would cause us to wrap um, text if we had too long a text, but it, because we're doing two different console writes, it's creating two different lines for us because of the fact this is the ASCII word art. So even though, you know, we're expecting write to not have that character turn at the end, it does for when we're writing figlets and a couple of other things like panels and others. But if you're writing text, it won't. Okay, so that's figlet. That's how you write if you wanted to change, you know, colors, of course you could. Um, you could say yellow and you could do other things. You could, you know, make it blink. Um, but there's our, our yellow hello or hello and then yellow world. Uh, we should probably also change it to YouTube, but, um, but that's how we can use Figlet to create something that is interesting and can be a really cool header for our application. Should you want to do that? All right. That's it. Thanks for watching. And as always, I am Tim Corey.